Okay, it's time to talk about facet joint irritation. Not a big fan. Primarily because it gets really irritable. Um, it can coexist with our intervertebral disc pathologies, so that's a really nasty combination. And that's why cytic pain can be very, very difficult to treat sometimes, especially as I've mentioned before when it's at its severe end. So, in order to be able to do some hands on work with this facet joint irritation without upsetting this area, we need to make sure that we're going to work as close to the spine as we can, but we're gonna work away, all right? So this is a really simple technique that I've developed over a couple of years, and I find it really works well without upsetting this, because as I mentioned before, we won't wanna to put too much PA pressure into this area here if we've got some nasty irritation going on there, okay? So we're gonna try and move things laterally, okay? So simple, we're gonna use our fingertips, we're gonna roll into that laminar groove in here. We're going to lock down onto that tissue there, which is probably right up against those um, erector spiny muscles. And all we're going to do is engage that tissue and work just across those erector spinies. Okay, so we're going to work across. Now I'm working at the level of roughly around about T10 all the way down to about L1. So we know we've got a cluster of trigger points in that area. So we're gonna work through those laterally without having to disturb them posterior to anterior as I mentioned before. So just work really slow. You can see the speed I'm working at here. So just slow it right down, working across the tissue, okay? And trust me, this will make a big difference to this facet joint irritation. If the area is that, that sensitive, then that's where sometimes we can come in, do a little bit of dry needling just to back off that irritability in that area. And then obviously we can finish off by rock taping this area. That will also make a massive difference, especially to clients when they're leaving and going home and obviously want to settle things down whilst the treatment's finished. So working medially to laterally across those erector spines, engaging that tissue and working ever so slightly and slowly. Now, you need to interact with your clients. So if you have any inkling that they're on that severe end, make sure that you're just gauging what sort of treatment pressure is, is right for them.